Milkshake, Wikipedia article audio. A milkshake is a sweet, cold beverage which is usually made from milk, ice cream, or iced milk, and flavorings or sweeteners such as butterscotch, caramel sauce, chocolate syrup, or fruit syrup. Outside the United States, milkshakes using ice cream or iced milk are sometimes called a thick milkshake or thick shake. In New England, the term frappe may be used to differentiate it from thinner forms of flavored milk. Types Hand blended Milkshake machines Soft serve mixed with syrup Pre-made products History 1880s 1930s 1940s 1950s Nomenclature 2000s present In popular culture Full-service restaurants, soda fountains, and diners usually prepare and mix the shake by hand from scoops of ice cream and milk in a blender or drink mixer using a stainless steel cup. Many fast food outlets do not make shakes by hand with ice cream, instead, they make shakes in automatic milkshake machines which freeze and serve a pre-made milkshake mixture consisting of milk, a sweetened flavoring agent, and a thickening agent. However, some fast food outlets still follow the traditional method, and some serve milkshakes which are prepared by blending serve ice cream with flavoring or syrups. Milkshakes can also be made at home with a blender or automatic drink mixer. A milkshake can also be made by adding powder into fresh milk and stirring the powder into the milk. Milkshakes made in this way can come in a variety of flavors, including chocolate, caramel, strawberry, and banana. Hand-blended milkshakes are traditionally made from any flavor of ice cream. Additional flavorings, such as chocolate syrup and slash or malt syrup or malt powder, can be added prior to mixing. This allows a greater variety than is available in machine-made shakes. Some unusual milkshake recipes exclude ice cream. Milkshake-like recipes which use a high proportion of fruit and no ice cream are usually called smoothies, even if frozen yogurt is used. However there are cases where a blended beverage is made with sherbet, frozen yogurt, and fruit which are sold as smoothies even though they could also be considered milkshakes. When malted milk is added, a milkshake is called a malted milkshake, a malt shake, a malted, or simply a malt. An ice cream based milkshake may be called a thick milkshake or thick shake in the United Kingdom or a frappe or frappe in parts of New England and Canada. In Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, coffee syrup or coffee flavored ice cream is used to make the local coffee cabinet shake. Milkshakes with added fruit called batido are popular in Latin America and in Miami's Cuban expatriate community. In Nicaragua, milkshakes are called leche malteta. Some U.S. restaurants serve milkshakes with crumbled cookies, candy bar pieces, or alcoholic beverages. The grasshopper milkshake, for example, includes crumbled chocolate cookies, cream de menthe liqueur, and chocolate mint ice cream. Restaurants with the highest volume of traffic such as McDonald's, often opt to use pre-made milkshake mixtures that are prepared in automatic milkshake machines. These machines are metallic cylinders with beaters that use refrigeration coils to freeze pre-made milkshake mixtures into a drinkable texture. The number of different flavors that restaurants with automatic milkshake machines can serve is limited by the number of different tanks in their milkshake machines so such fast food restaurants usually offer fewer flavors of milkshakes. The smallest automatic milkshake machines are counter-mounted appliances that can make a single milkshake flavor using a 5L stainless steel tank. 
Large restaurants that wish to offer multiple flavors can either use floor-mounted multi-flavor machines with multiple 5-liter stainless steel barrels or use carbon dioxide-based machines that mix the flavors during dispensing. Some fast food restaurants use thick milkshake machines, which are single-flavor machines with a 12L stainless steel tank. Some fast food restaurants such as Dairy Queen serve milkshakes which are prepared by blending serve ice cream with sweetened, flavored syrups such as chocolate syrup and fruit-flavored syrup and milk. Pre-made milkshakes are sold in grocery stores in North America and the UK. These drinks are made from milk mixed with sweetened flavored powder, artificial syrup, or concentrate which would otherwise be called flavored milk, thickened with carrageenan or other products. Bottled milkshakes are usually sold in 330 ml, 500 ml, or 1 liter bottles. When the term milkshake was first used in print in 1885, milkshakes were an alcoholic whiskey drink that has been described as a sturdy, healthful eggnog type of drink with eggs, whiskey, etc., served as a tonic as well as a treat. However, by 1900, the term referred to wholesome drinks made with chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla syrups. By the early 1900s people were asking for the new treat, often with ice cream. By the 1930s, milkshakes were a popular drink at malt shops which were the typical soda fountain of the period, used by students as a meeting place or hangout. The history of the electric blender, malted milk drinks, and milkshakes are interconnected. Before the widespread availability of electric blenders, milkshake-type drinks were more like eggnog, or they were a hand-shaken mixture of crushed ice and milk, sugar, and flavorings. Hamilton Beach S drink mixers began being used at soda fountains in 1911 and the electric blender or drink mixer was invented by Stephen Poplowski in 1922. With the invention of the blender, milkshakes began to take their modern, whipped, aerated, and frothy form. The use of malted milk powder in milkshakes was popularized in the USA by the Chicago drugstore chain Walgreens. Malted milk powder a mixture of evaporated milk, malted barley, and wheat flour had been invented by William Horlick in 1897 for use as an easily digested restorative health drink for disabled people and children, and as an infant's food. However, Healthy people soon began drinking beverages made with malted milk simply for the taste, and malted milk beverages containing milk, chocolate syrup, and malt powder became a standard offering at soda fountains. In 1922, Walgreens employee Ivor Pop Carlson made a milkshake by adding two scoops of vanilla ice cream to the standard malted milk drink recipe. This item under the name Horlick's Malted Milk, was featured by the Walgreen drugstore chain as part of a chocolate milk shake, which itself became known as a malted or malt and became one of the most popular soda fountain drinks. The automation of milkshakes developed in the 1930s, after the invention of Freon-cooled refrigerators, provided a safe, reliable way of automatically making and dispensing ice cream. In 1936, inventor Earl Prince used the basic concept behind the Freon-cooled automated ice cream machine to develop the multi-mixer, a five-spindled mixer that could produce five milkshakes at once, all automatically, and dispense them at the pull of a lever into a waiting paper cups. In the late 1930s, Several newspaper articles show that the term frosted was used to refer to milkshakes made with ice cream. In 1937, the Denton Journal in Maryland stated that for a frosted shake, add a dash of your favorite ice cream. In 1939, 
the Mansfield News in Ohio stated that a frosted beverage, in the vernacular, is something good to which ice cream has been added. Example PAR excellence is frosted coffee that hot, tasty beverage made chilly with ice and frosty with ice cream. By the 1950s, popular places to drink milkshakes were Woolworth's 5 and 10 lunch counters, diners, burger joints, and drugstore soda fountains. These establishments often prominently displayed a shining chrome or stainless steel milkshake mixing machine. These establishments made milkshakes in Hamilton Beach or similar styles of drink mixers, which had spindles and agitators that folded air into the drinks for smooth, fluffy results and served them in 12 one half ounce tall, Y-shaped glasses. Soda fountain staff had their own jargon such as burn one all the way, twist it, choke it, and make it cackle, shake one in the hay, and a white cow. In the 1950s, a milkshake machine salesman named Ray Kroc bought exclusive rights to the 1930s era multi-mixer milkshake maker from inventor Earl Prince, and went on to use automated milkshake machines to speed up production at McDonald's restaurants. Milkshakes had also become popular in other parts of the world, including the United Kingdom and Australia. In Australia, milk bars had grown popular and milkshakes were normally served lightly whipped and often in the aluminium or stainless steel cups in which they were prepared. In addition to more conventional flavors, spearmint and lime-flavored milkshakes became popular in Australia. In the 1950s, milkshakes were called fraps, velvets, frosted, or cabinets in different parts of the U.S. A specialty style of milkshake, the concrete, was a milkshake so thick that the server hands it out the order window upside down, demonstrating that not a drop will drip. In 1952, the Newport Daily News in Rhode Island contained a guide for top quality ice cream sodas cabinets milkshakes, which shows the use of the term cabinet in print. An article from 1953 in the Salisbury Times suggests that shakes can be made in a jar by shaking well. The article states that by adding four large tablespoons of ice cream, the drink becomes a frosted shake. Currently, in New England, and especially the greater Boston area, the ice cream and milk dessert known as a milkshake in other parts of the country is referred to as a frappe. In these locales, milkshake refers to a lighter drink, usually made of shaken or blended milk with flavoring of some sort. A milkshake may be abbreviated as shake in some restaurants. In 2005, the traditional home of the milkshake, the family restaurants and 24-hour diner-style restaurants that were the staples of 1950s and 60s America such as Denny's, Big Boy and the International House of Pancakes were supplanted, in terms of revenue for the first time since the U.S. Census started measuring this in the 1970s. The shift means the burger, fries, and milkshake ideal evoked by the sitcom Happy Days is losing its hold on the American appetite. Instead, U.S. consumers are going out to casual dining restaurants. In 2006, the U.S. Agricultural Research Service developed reduced sugar, low-fat milkshakes for lunch programs. The shakes have half the sugar and only 10% of the fat of commercial fast food shakes. Schools need a milkshake machine or serve ice cream machine to serve the milkshakes. The milkshakes also have added fiber and other nutrients, and they have much less lactose, which makes the shakes appropriate for some lactose intolerant people. The U.S. sales of milkshakes, malts, and floats rose 11% in 2006, according to the industry research firm NPD Group. Christopher Muller, the
the director of the Center for Multi-Unit Restaurant Management at Orlando's University of Central Florida states that milkshakes remind us of summer, youth, and indulgence, and they're evocative of a time gone by. Muller states that milkshakes are an enormously profitable item for restaurants, since the fluffy drinks contain so much air. The market research firm Technomic claims that about 75% of the average priced $3.38 restaurant shake in 2006 was profit. An executive from Sonic Inn, a U.S. chain of 1950s style diner restaurants, Call shakes, one of our highest volume, revenue producing areas. Part of the increase in milkshake sales reported in 2006 may be due to the increasing availability of innovative chef designed milkshakes in high end restaurants. In 2006, the Los Angeles Times reported that chefs from hipster hangouts and retro landmarks are using macerated farmer's market strawberries, Valrhona chocolate and Madagascar bourbon vanilla to make new milkshake flavors. Other novel ideas offered in La Area restaurants include milkshakes made with toasted pecans, saffron, rose water or orange blossom ice cream, taro root, vanilla beans steeped in rum, Valrhona chocolate and Grey Goose vodka, and vanilla custard mixed with Russian Imperial Stout. A 2016 article stated that chefs are trying out innovative ideas with milkshakes to keep customers interested in the frothy drinks. The article noted that coffee-flavored shakes are popular because it complements both sweet and savory dishes. At one market restaurant, Gay Pride was celebrated with a Harvey milkshake, named after the groundbreaking gay U.S. politician. The shake included vanilla ice cream, pinnacle peach vodka, Godiva white chocolate liqueur, strawberries, blueberries, and Valrhona white chocolate pride twill. Other bars are also adding alcoholic beverages to shakes for adults, such as spirits and slash or beer, though these can be very challenging to pull off without dairy curdling. Unusual flavors from 2016 included bacon, peanut butter and jelly, pumpkin, chocolate-coated strawberry and red velvet. Another trend is using different types of milk, such as almond milk, coconut milk, hemp milk. An unusual trend from 2016 was the Black Tap Milkshake, a premium-priced, 1,600-calorie drink that includes a mountain of ice cream topped with peanut butter cups, lollipops, cotton candy, or even entire slices of cake. Similar drinks referred to as freak shakes were popular in the United Kingdom and Australia around this time. The longest drink in town is a popular drink cup in New Zealand with a branded logo of a giraffe that is used for milkshakes throughout the country, most commonly in dairies. The cup was introduced in 1968. The logo is composed of a giraffe on a cup or shirt, with text reading the longest drink in town next to it. The phrase, the longest drink in town compares the height of the milkshake cup to that of a giraffe. Circa 2011, Dolman introduced a brand of milkshake syrups under the brand name The Longest Drink in Town. Master Shake, one of the main characters from the long-running series Aqua Teen Hunger Force, is a life-sized anthropomorphic milkshake. In the ultraviolent futuristic dystopia in A Clockwork Orange by director Stanley Kubrick, the young gang members go to the Korova Milk Bar for Milk Plus, a dairy beverage to which stimulants and hallucinogenic drugs have been added. Milkshakes in the movies are shorthand for sweetness and goodness. In All About Eve, by director Joseph L. Mankiewicz, Bette Davis' character is unhappy to see a man she likes chatting up her young female assistant, 
so Davis' character orders an alcoholic martini, and then mockingly suggests Eve will have a milkshake, thereby asserting womanhood over girlhood through milkshakes' associations with virginity. Similarly, the socially awkward and nerdy character Steve Buscemi plays in Ghost World is made fun of by a teenage girl because he orders a virginal vanilla milkshake, in Manhattan, by director Woody Allen, the director draws attention to the difference in age between his 42-year-old character and his teenage girlfriend by having her drink a milkshake. In the film Lolita in 1997, a teenage girl drinks a milkshake while she is with the middle-aged man who is attracted to her. Pulp Fiction has a scene in a retro 50s diner where two characters on a first date discuss the merits of a $5 milkshake. Milkshake is the title of a 2003 R&B electro song written and produced by the Neptunes for American singer Kellis' third studio album, Tasty. It reached the top 10 in the United Kingdom, Australia, and the Netherlands, and became Kellis' biggest success to date on Billboard Hot 100 in the United States, peaking at number 3. The song became an internet meme following the release of Paul Thomas Anderson's 2007 film There Will Be Blood, in which scenes from the film were edited to the song. The line became something of a catchphrase for the film and gained moderate recognition in popular culture following the film's release. Media related to milkshakes at Wikimedia Commons